Well, we're extremely happy to be back here in Dubai uh, to host our 15th anniversary uh, Marine Money Gulf Ship Finance Forum. Uh, the first event we did was in 2005 and at that time of course it was the boom shipping market and our events grew year by year through to about 2009 and at that time of course we had about 20 foreign banks and a lot of local interest from shipping companies and finance. Things have changed unfortunately since then but we do believe that we have sort of leveled out and now we're in 2019 and there's a lot of interesting things happening in shipping globally but also in this region. One of the main issues at this moment in time is the environmental uh, initiatives which are being put into the shipping industry. We have IMO 2020 coming up uh, in only a few months. We have a lot of other sort of uh, regulations coming, but there's more than that. There's some pressure from the general public, from the industry at large for the industry to sort of, you know, clean itself up. And we believe that 2020 will be an, an instrumental year uh, for that. And we're really looking forward to next year in actual fact when we will be able to really see the implications of IMO 2020, the different uh, fuel burns in the vessels and how the shipping industry is going to uh, react. We're very happy this year to have uh, with us uh, as our anchor sponsors uh, eShips and TriStar. They're uh, making some aggressive moves in the market, growing their fleet, taking innovative financing. We also have Oman Shipping who likewise from the region are building their fleet. So I think it's quite exciting that the companies which are here today are the real players in, in the region and they're growing their fleets and doing exciting things. So the first panel this morning was talking about the evolution of uh, eShips and its uh, new shareholder TriStar and how we have uh, challenged the markets over the coming uh, past few years and we have uh, built the company from something relatively small into the um, largest private ship owner in the Middle East in various segments. We discussed uh, the opportunities for the parent company in bringing in um, new forms of capital and how we look at growing the uh, business in the coming years. Uh, we discussed the issues with uh, both bankers and lawyers as to what uh, financing structures are open to um, companies like ourselves. We discussed the opportunities that are there in both the conventional bank finance market and for larger companies, conventional bank finance is still the most efficient and cheap way of raising finance. It was discussed that for smaller owners, that, that's still um, a challenge to get the correct leverage and the correct pricing and they have to seek alternative finance uh, from Chinese leasing structures, Joel Coles and other such options. We also discussed um, Islamic finance, which we as a company have uh, completed many transactions on. In fact, the acquisition of uh, eShips by Tri TriStar was the first sh Islamic shipping M&A transaction in the world. On top of that, uh, the um, Paul Jarvis from Denton's law firm, who has acted for uh, Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank on many transactions, explained the principal differences between Islamic finance and uh, conventional finance. And I think the general conclusion there is that uh, you have to go through a few extra hoops of uh, documentation and credit approvals, but ultimately um, it's more akin to a traditional finance structure than a um, new alternative source of finance. We had an interview session today. I gave an update to the audience about a little bit by my background. I've now been 16 months in Oman. It has been a fantastic ride. I'm now the CFO and acting CEO of Oman Shipping. We've been very busy uh, developing a new strategy for the coming five years under new shareholders. And it's important to say that this strategy is a growth strategy. It's a strategy based on uh, business diversification. It's about uh, following the, the country development, so it's in country value. So we are very optimistic actually about what's going to happen in the coming years. Uh, focus will be very much on dry cargo, containers, uh, VLC fleet renewal, and also preparing ourselves for chemical and uh, MR tankers in the future. Uh, overall, we are part of the logistic ambition for the country. It's a long-term vision, 2040. So it's always interesting to be working long-term. We see Oman as a very interesting country based on its geographic location, its political uh, position. We see it a little bit as the Switzerland of the region. Uh, so we're very comfortable about the future actually here in Oman Shipping. And I would say in five years time, I would not be surprised if our fleet has grown from around 50 ships to around 70, 20 ships.
2020 is a big year for Dubai, of course, for the UAE. We'll be back again next year. We're really looking forward to it. Like I said, I think it'll be a pivotal year for the industry with all of the kind of green initiatives coming on board. And next year at this conference, similar time, maybe in September during Dubai Maritime Week, we'll see. Uh, we'll have interesting discussions and a lot of interesting people seeing interesting things. We're looking forward.